once again. We are back with another video on the So guys, we're going to carry on with voiceovers and we're going to start with the eyebrow gel. That's how it looks like I'd shown you before. So we're going to make sure that your eyebrows are well trimmed and ready to be drawn with the eyebrow gel. It's brown as you can see, dark brown and that's perfect for your eyebrows. The brushes are very nicely angled so you just put it in that thing and try to rub in some eyebrow gel. So that you can try and apply it on your eyebrows take like uh something that's going to be enough for your eyebrows and ensure you don't overdo yeah so you're going to start with the under part of your eyebrows as usual but you can also do like you're going, you're, you can also like what, 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 what which word do i use you can just apply the parts of your eyebrows that don't have air. Hair, 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 hair. hair. <laughs> yeah. You can simply do that. As you can see. Yeah. So easy and I find it so flexible. Yeah. Just look at that. It looks so nice and very simple. I think with this you can actually do well. Not only if your eyebrows are well trimmed. And I had already put you guys on what I usually use to trim my eyebrows. So you do that and you ensure you've done it perfectly. Yeah. The next part guys is always to conceal your eyebrows. It's the normal thing that we always do. Nothing different and I usually use a lighter shade of concealer to conceal my 
under part of my eyebrows to ensure that my eyebrows are popping popping so this is the yellow corrector that i'm using and you just drag it down to make your blending easy and you can also use that product to still do your eyelids yeah so ensure you do it nicely because this is the part that ensures your eyebrows look perfectly yeah as you can see i have done it so nicely the only part that i'm going to do is blending i've already done the blending and i'm using my favorite palette which has the 48 colors specs of choice so i'm going to start with the transition shade and i am going in with that color that i'm showing you that's for my first so yeah that's going to be my first shade of transition so you're going to do the tapping oh my god look at that i love how this palette has amazing colors that always blend in so easily as usual you tap in as you spread sparingly to ensure that everything looks blended and nicely blended and you really need to enjoy doing this oh my god i really love how it looks and we're going to do the same to the other side of the eye it looks really nice for a transition shade and i am going to come out with something really nice so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't and you've reached this point i don't know why you have not subscribed oh my god you truly need to subscribe because you're learning yeah As you can see, I already did my cut crease and I'm just tapping the excess concealer on the cut crease. Ensure you blend your cut crease so that when you're applying your eyeshadow, it just blends it blends in correctly and like smoothly and like your eye look looks smooth, like no layers, no no blemishes, you know. Yeah. So for my first shade I'm going to use that light pink. I have never done light pink so I'm going to consider doing light pink yeah so you tap it in and you can see if you blend your concealer nicely the eyeshadows just pop and they blend so easily so yeah with this eye look I didn't know what I was going for I was just trying some new things you know <laughs> but I really, I really 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 like the cut crease yeah I can't remember the name of that cut crease but it looks so nice so we are going to do that and for the next shade on our cut crease is going to be white in the inner corner I feel like it would look nice so let's tap it in you see how the white pops when you just do your concealer nicely so yeah you do the same to the other eye as well and ensure you blend as you tap so that the two colors can blend together and not look weird yeah so you see i am blending to ensure that everything looks uniform so this is the liquid eyeliner that i the eyeliner gel that i wanted to review and guys i was so much disappointed like it's not popping like the colors ain't popping like the dark black is not showing that much as you can see i was just doing light strokes and i didn't like it at all because what's that it's not even like you see it's so light like it's i didn't like it i didn't like it personally so i was just trying to show you how it looks but you can also try and tell me if it works for you because for me it didn't and i didn't like it i don't know why you see so much disappointed so i had to go back to my normal liquid eyeliner because what's that it's not even showing like it looks like a eyeliner pencil like the davis one <laughs> when you tried to do your wing so i didn't like it so let's go back to our eyeliner this is the game look at the way it looks it looks so nice like it's dark that's how all eyeliners should look like like they should be dark and they should like pop now i'm applying my primer i used a spray primer so i'm just tapping it in to ensure that it looks so nice and ensure you primer dries before you start applying your foundation so i am tapping it in my foundation 
and the normal routine is the way I've shown you. That's my concealer I'm using to highlight. Yeah, and in the bridge of your nose, don't forget to highlight because most of you guys forget. That's how I do my highlight. This is a contour and I am always using a darker concealer. So I do that in the bridge of my nose and also underneath my cheekbone. Yeah. Here I was doing baking and I really love baking, like oh my god. And as I bake I contour using a, a mark finishing powder, the darker tone and with a fluffy brush and I just do my contour. Like this look always turns out to be amazing if you do that because your bake is still there and like you're doing your contour so when you do the bake everything just looks so nice so yeah as you can see i was not lying you can see everything looks guys we've come to the final part of the video i was just doing a review of these two products and as you have seen through the process i did not like the eyeliner gel i didn't like it because i took a like dark dark like my other normal eyeliner but for the eyebrow gel definitely recommend a hundred percent because you can see my eyebrows look damn natural and you can also do like the hair like structures with that the brush you know so i really recommend the eyebrow gel but you can also get this package and just Use the eyeliner as well if you are a minimalist, you know, but like I think eyeliners should like pop and be like dark, like black. People can see it from like a fire, you know. So thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I also like the look that I came up with. I think I look so pretty. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment Habuchini and tell me your thoughts about this product. And also, don't forget to share my video. Subscribe if you're also a new member because this is my core family and we are here to learn and teach, other, teach each other stuff. So, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share.